This video is for educational purposes only. Texas Female Death Row Inmates and Their Crimes There are 198 death row inmates in Texas as of right now, and the last execution by lethal injection of a female prisoner took place in 1868. The criminal histories of these ladies have piqued the interest of internet users. This is what today's video is all about. 1. Erica Yvonne Shepard Who is the youngest lady on death row? This is a question that a lot of people have been asking. Born on January 9, 1973, Erica Yvonne is the youngest death row prisoner in the United States. She and James Dickerson were found guilty of robbing and killing 21-year-old Marilyn Marr. Shepard maintains that she did not actively participate in the crime and that James, her co-defendant, who passed away in 1996 when he was being put to death should be held responsible. 2. Darley Lynn Rudyer The jury found Altoona County resident Darley Rudyer, 27, guilty of murdering her five, and six-year-old boys with a knife while her husband and the youngest child slept. She said that she did it because of financial difficulties. She denies the crime and claims that an intruder killed her sons. Darley's execution date is still pending. 3. Kimberly Cargill Born in 1966, Kimberly Cargill was found guilty of killing her nanny, Cherry Walker, in Jones, Mississippi. Walker was scheduled to testify against Cargill, who had an open child protection action against her. Cherry was put to death after Kimberly persuaded her to assist her in not testifying. After driving her to an abandoned road, Cargill doused her with lighter fluid and lit her garments on fire. Family members attested to her aggressive actions, which included beating, kicking, and choking. When Kimberly was found guilty, she worked as an office clerk. In 2017, she appealed her case and the U.S. Supreme Court rejected her appeal. 4. Linda Carty In 2002, Linda Carty, a teacher and college student, was found guilty of killing Joanna Rodriguez, her neighbor, who was 20 years old. In 2018, the Supreme Court rejected her appeal, based on her argument that her assailants and others framed her. Carty, who was born in 1958, said that the assailants had framed her and that the murder would improve her relationship. 5. Melissa Elizabeth Lucio In 2008, Melissa Elizabeth, a death row inmate from Texas, was accused of murdering and torturing her two-year-old daughter, Mariah. Born on July 18, 1968, she had no prior criminal history before being found guilty in 2008. Despite Elizabeth's original assertion that Mariah fell down the steps, her sentence was upheld in 2011. 6. Brittany Hallberg Marlowe Born in 1973, Brittany worked as a sex worker until her 1998 imprisonment. She had served time in jail for drug misuse and had successfully finished a criminal program. In Amarillo, Texas, Brittany was found guilty of the robbery and murder of 80-year-old A.B. Towery Sr. A lamp base, barbecue fork, and paring knife were used in the vicious attack. Brittany maintained that she was acting in self-defense, but in 2000, her conviction was upheld. Less than 3% of death row convicts in Texas are female. These criminals have appealed their convictions and are still serving severe sentences. As they spend their sentence in the country with the greatest number of executions in America, everyone will be keenly watching what is to come. This is all for today. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more such videos.